Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. This is the second tutorial in our series on pre-built Flash components. Now remember that I'm going to be putting out a new component tutorial every day. And in today's tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the checkbox component. So to get us started we're going to create a Flash Action Script 3 document. Then I'm going to change the properties real quick to of the stage to be 600 pixels by 400 pixels. Uh, that's done. We're going to set up for the tutorial. So I'm going to be getting or grabbing the text tool, and I'm going to write some text, and it's going to be what programs do you use? And then we'll have a list of programs underneath that with checkboxes, and you'll be able to check them, and it'll render out which ones you've checked. So I'm going to position that over here, and now we are ready for our checkboxes. So I'm going to go to Window, then Components, and um, again, they'll probably be under, um, you might have it closed, but it'll be under user interface. And we're going to grab the checkbox and drag it out onto the stage. So now that I have that here, I'm just going to kind of position this underneath. And then I'm going to, um, once I have that first one positioned, I'm going to hold Alt while it's selected and then drag down, and that's going to allow me to duplicate this. So get those about evenly spaced out, and then we can start adding the labels to them. So to add a label to this, we need to first click on it, and then go to Properties, and then click this little button right here. Or you'll, it'll be in the, wherever your parameters are if you're using an older version. So for the parameters, we're going to set the label on this first one to Photoshop. And then on this next one, we're going to set it to Flash. Then on this one, we're going to set it to Illustrator. And then on the last one, we're going to set it to Dreamweaver. All right, so now that we've done that, we need to add some instance names to these buttons. So we're going to add an instance name of Photoshop, and then CB for checkbox. Make sure I spelled that right. Okay, now for the flash one, it's basically going to be the same thing, Flash, CB, and Illustrator, Illustrator, CB, okay, and lastly, Dreamweaver, CB. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to create another text box over here for the text to be rendered out in. So we're going to just drag out a text box here. And we're going to make sure that this is on dynamic text. And further down, you want to make sure that it's on multi-line also, so that it's not just on one line. Um, and then we're going to add an instance name. We'll just call that my text. OK. So now we need to just line this up with our other text box here, so that it's on the same, um, basically the same level, so that it just looks a little bit better when we're done. And I think that we're ready to start actually coding this out. So we're going to have. Um, we're going to have these checkboxes here, and then we're going to have it say, you use, and then it's going to put the programs that you've selected over here underneath. So let's get started with that. So we're going to open up the actions frame, and first we need to um, basically give a value to our text box. So we named it my text. So did I say my text or my, yeah, my text. OK, just making sure. So open the actions back up. So my text, and then dot text space equals space, a couple of quotes and a semicolon, and then inside that we're going to put you use, and then like three dots, so you use these programs. So now what we need to do is actually add event listeners for each of our buttons, so or for each of our checkboxes. So we need to have, uh, let's do the Photoshop one first, so we'll say photoshop.add event listener open parenthesis, it's going to be a mouse event, and then dot click, all caps, comma, and then we're going to name a uh, function. So we'll, let's just say change list, because it's going to be changing the list that's over here. Okay, so close parenthesis, semicolon. And now I'm just going to take and, oh, we need, actually we need a CB right there. That would have caused a problem. Make sure that you have the same instance names as you used for your checkboxes. So I'm going to copy this, basically paste it four times, and the only thing that we need to change are these programs here. So I'm going to change that to Flash, 
Illustrator, and Dreamweaver. So basically when any of those is clicked, then it's gonna fire off this function right here. So now we need to write that function. So I'm gonna hit enter a couple times. Then we're gonna say function, change list, and it's going to be an event, colon, and it's going to be a mouse event, capital M and a capital E, close parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. So now we want to put in our text again. So I'm just gonna grab this real quick. And basically we need to have the text show up at the top and then we want it to have a break afterwards. And to add a break, um, like in Dreamweaver for like HTML, it would be like BR space, and then it would look like this. But in Flash, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a slash, it's gonna be a forward slash, and it's gonna be an N. So that's gonna be a break, like a line break in uh, Flash. So we're going to basically render out the text here and then it's gonna have a line break. And then we need some if statements. So if, and then the Photoshop, let me just grab this so that I don't have to keep typing it. We're gonna say if that is selected, so if that checkbox is selected, then it's going to equal true. And what that means is that my text is going to append, so append text with a capital T, then it's going to append this label. So we want that, that label, plus another line break. So I'm gonna try and explain this after I've done it because I haven't really explained it too well for that line. So basically what we need is if it's selected, then it's gonna be true. And since when it's true, then we're going to append text to the end of my text. So it's gonna say you use, and then underneath it, it's going to append the label. So it's gonna say you use, and then underneath Photoshop, and then it's gonna put another line break so that if we have another program, then it's on the next line. So let me actually just test this out here and you should be able to see it work for Photoshop so you guys can get an idea. So right now Photoshop's the only one that works. You can see these other ones don't work, but it'll, it'll put Photoshop underneath there. So basically what we need in order for those other buttons to work is to just copy this line of code here and then just put them underneath and change these programs or these um, instance names according to the program that it is. So I'm just double clicking and that's how I'm selecting that very quickly. And we're just changing all these. And now this should work. So we're gonna do test movie. And here you can see, puts up flash and then if I have Photoshop, you can see you can have as many or as few as you want in any order, doesn't really matter they'll change depending on what's basically what's selected. So as you guys can see this will be this can be pretty um, useful especially if you're making forms within Flash. Um, you might also find some other uses for checkboxes. Um, I just I think that it's a, it's a pretty neat tutorial. Um, different you can do a lot of different things with checkboxes. So uh, I hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys subscribe, write, and comment and don't forget I'll be putting out another tutorial tomorrow so don't forget to check back. Thanks.